This, I feel like I'm under the surface of the water and I'm going to come up for air. And so what I'm going to do is bring my knotted thread up from the bottom and get it fixed right in the very edge of the, of the stem piece. And then, oh, I need my, need to be able to see a little see. bit better than that. Not getting old is really <laughs> yeah, not any fun, it's is it? It's a little boring. Okay, and then I plunge down back in the surface right next to where I came up. I always tell students, don't go ahead of that stitch or behind that stitch. You go right next to it, right adjacent to it. Well, that makes it the smallest area out, you know, possible for that actual stitch right. and makes it the least noticeable. And come up for, I need to stick my little leather thimble dot back on in better place. I'm really sold on those. They're a nice uh, item. Seems like my silver thimble or my metal thimble is always falling off depending on the barometric pressure well, or something. If it's cold, my thimble falls yeah. off. If it's hot, hot it's it sweaty. sticks and it's sweaty. So this little dot is great. I think I've made it a real challenge for myself because I think I have a quilting needle here. <laughs> <laughs> but you come back up for the surface, then you dive back down in the background fabric. And I think that little tug that I do is really important mm -hmm. because appliques have a tendency to loosen up later and if you quilt right beside them then that is even more true. That quilting along the edge of them kind of draws the, the background fabric down and then you can have an applique piece that's just loose and floating up there. <laughs>